Hi! In this video, I would like to share with you a few of my favorite techniques removing stray and fly hair from background and retouching from the model's face and body. Let's begin! First, I would like to create a background copy and give overall shape to the hair with the help of liquify tool filter liquify i will work with forward warp tool let's quickly see before and after after giving shape I would like to remove a few stray hair from the model's face with the help of spot healing brush. Size approximately as small as the size of the hair. Now we are going to clean from the background itself. We will create an empty layer make sure that sample all layers is checked pick clone stamp tool whenever you work with dark hair you have to make mod lighten whenever the hair is light on a dark background your mod should be darkened in my case model has uh, dark hair and the background is light so i'm picking Lighten mode, bringing it closer. Alter option key to copy clean background and just apply it on top of all those stray hairs. Let's check our result before and after. Before and after. It really doesn't take much time. But to make this hair really perfect, we need to draw additional hair. And that can be done with brush tool. In new Photoshop version, they have special hair brushes. But if you don't have, you can always download from the internet. I'm sure it is available for free. Photoshop has also number 60 hairbrush, which is very good. I use it frequently. Let's pick that one, bring the image closer. And you will see the problem area over here. We have less hair here. Yeah, we can, it's like see through some little boldness. So we will pick a brush, hold Alt Option key, Copy exact color of nearby hair and just brush on top. Mix the colors, change them, light, dark, if you feel this is not um, your method. I'm going to show one more. So here you go, before and after. Can bring it closer before and after. I have done it on the same layer but my advice is to create a separate layer because sometimes the depth of field can be different in different uh, parts of the image and you will have to blur your layers to achieve the same sharpness, right? So if this method is definitely not for you by drawing additional hair Let's create one more layer and pick simple clone stamp tool, same hairbrush, option alt key, let's copy for example from here and just apply on this empty space on the border. You see it will copy exact colors, pattern, so you don't have to worry about, but still, you must make sure that patterns are not repetitive. 
I'm creating by the border a little bit stray hair so it doesn't look too tidy and too unrealistic. Make sure your movements repeat the flow of the hair. Let's check before and after. I will combine all three layers and by pressing Command or Control G, make a group of this and we can see before and after. So basically this is very simple way and very fast way. Maybe next video I will prepare with more professional tips on hair retouching. Purpose in this video was to show how to remove stray hair from the background. Let me show you one more very quick technique. I'll deactivate this layer. We will go down and we will build one more background copy. With the lasso tool, I'm going to make a selection that goes parallel to it. Then I'm getting all the way to the corner, entire corner will be selected and placing it on a separate layer by pressing command control J. Later command or control T to transform and we are going to pull the corners and cover as much as we can of the problem area. Don't worry about going over the edges. Right inside click warp tool we're going to shape a little bit, try to cover as much as possible, yeah, something like that. Again go to free transform, double click and this is what we get, right, before and after. Like really very very quick way to remove stray hair from the background. We will create a layer mask for this one and reduce opacity so we can see clearly how much we need to erase. Pick an eraser with the smaller brush. Just go to the borders, make them less sharp and uh, reveal some more of the hair which you've hidden. Here, before and after. Similarly, you can do the other side. That is it. And I hope some of the methods will be your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.